Hi again, and welcome to the third episode of Things to Do in the High Country. I'm Jonathan Lee. And I'm Christy Lombardozzi. We're so glad you came to join us on our channel. We're back in beautiful Valley Crucis, and today we are at the original Mass General Store. And with us is Tracy Tilly. Thanks for being here, Tracy. Hi, welcome. We're glad y'all are at the store. So tell us about the, the Mass General Store. I know there are multiple locations now, but this is the original one. So tell us about that significance. That's right. This is the original store. We were founded in 1883, and the purpose of the store was to provide everything that folks in the valley needed. Inside you'll find everything from uh, jellies and preserves to um, cast iron skillets, enamelware, and the best thing ever is candy probably. <laughs> so one of the, the cool things about this being the original store is the building itself, but really Mass never left the valley, right? There's a lot that happens here that goes through all the stores. That's right. That's right. Mass never left the valley. Our, our corporate headquarters is a couple miles down the road. Um, and then it, here in the valley is the original store. We also have the annex, which um, the annex has all of our fashion wear and um, um, outdoors and they have a, a really nice candy barrel there as well and then right next to us right next to the original is river cross which is um, a unique gift shop there where everything there is made in, in the usa wow. so from a bit of research we found out that this place is on the national register of historic places can you tell mm -hmm. us about the significance of that well um the store has been around since 1883 and during the 1970s um, it was struggling a little bit. Um, there was a recession and lots of things happening and uh, the, the store closed for a while. Um, and at that time, ensuring that the store was on the National Register of Historic Places was a really important thing. So it really had a lot to do with, with us saving the store back then. So there are some traditions that happen here that I love to just walk up on on a Saturday morning. Sometimes there's a bluegrass band here. Um, you obviously sell all kinds of merchandise, t-shirts. I think you have a little saying about this as well. Oh, well, we have everything from cradles to caskets. Love it. And uh, we even have a, a, a casket if, if you need one. If, <laughs> if you can't make it through this, we have one upstairs for you. So. But we have everything, uh, and that's a big part of uh, being a store, a, ma a general store. Um, when the Coopers, John and Faye Cooper, bought the store um, in 1979, one of the very first things they did is they talked to the people who live in the valley. What do you need? What do we? What what can we provide to you that you have to drive to Boone, you know, right now for? Um, and so. That's really, you know, an important part of who MAST is and again, it's part of that relationship with the community. We want to make sure that we sell what our customers need. One of the big parts of that is the, the post office. That was a, one of the most important things um, to the, the residents here because when the store closed in, in the 70s, um, the post office closed. When um, John and Faye bought the store, the, one of the first requests was, please reopen the post office. And so they did. I think it took a while, but they, they made it happen because it was important to the community. And this is the only place that you can have a Valley Cruces address, is to have a, a post office box here. Tracy, tell us how the Mass General Store has grown to eight locations in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee. Well, it's ten locations now, uh -huh. and we have grown slowly and with intention. We have to make sure that the community is right and that we're right for the community. Uh, those two things are you know, really important. Uh, from the Valley, the first store, uh, we moved to Boone. And then Waynesville was our, our next door that was not on the mountain, so to speak. And from there we've grown to um, stores in Hendersonville, Asheville, Greenville, Columbia, Knoxville, Winston-Salem. I hope I didn't leave anything out. <laughs> and Roanoke is our next one. 
great. Excellent. So we have mm -hmm. talked a bit about products and of course there's the candy barrel and there are shoes and there are t-shirts and lots of um, things that you can take home if you're on vacation or if you're local, maybe you buy your pancake batter here, but what are some of your favorite products that you sell here? Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. It's right here. Bit of honey. <laughs> I can't, I have one every day, uh, which is a hazard of working here. I do love the bit of honey, but I guess I really like the, uh, the shoes. I, I, you know, I'm a shoe girl, uh, so there's a great selection of shoes from hiking boots to, uh, to sandals, Birkenstocks, and Chacos. Um, and in most of our locations, there are hiking trails that you can reach right out the, right out the door of the store. Uh, so that's kind of a unique thing, and that's a, a big part of, of the store is, is the, the hiking and camping and all of those kinds of products. Um, other things that are important are the things that have been here forever, which are the preserves and uh, um, items like that, the lodge, cast iron, the, we have a knife shop here with amazing knives, um, and of course candy barrels probably one of the number one things. What does Mass bring to the community? What draws people to the store? Well, we're re definitely a, a destination, um, and people love to come here. A lot of it is nostalgic. People come, uh, grandparents come, because they want to show a general store to their grandchildren. Um, lots of people come here because they live here, and they can get pretty much whatever they need here. <laughs> um, so I was working here one time, and someone called and said, do you have a bonnet? there? I need a bonnet. And I thought, there's no way that we have a bonnet here. But I put them on hold and asked, and of course, we had a bonnet. So I, wow. I was happy to tell the lady, <laughs> sure, come on in. We have a bonnet for you. <laughs> I mean, it's just those sorts of things, you know, that um, the, the products that you, that we carry that you probably wouldn't find somewhere else. Tracy, thank you so much for talking with us today. Is there anything that we didn't mention that you think folks at home might want to know about? Well, we appreciate y'all coming out today, and we hope that you'll come back for another visit again real soon. We're always looking for folks to join us in these wonderful rocking chairs and just spend an afternoon with us. Um, if you can't do that, though, you can uh, find us online, and most of our products are available online. It's www.mastgeneralstore.com. Thank you. Thank you for being here. And thank you for watching. And as you heard, uh, Mast has a website, so check out some of their products here. And um, if you would like to make the high country your home, also check out our website. If there is a place in the high country that you'd like us to cover, you'd like to learn more about it, then uh, drop a comment below. And thanks again for being with us. Mm -hmm.